In 2021, AOC Archaeology Group worked with Calendars Landscape and Calendar Heritage Society to investigate two hill forts close to the town, Dunmore and Ochen Lake. Dunmore Hill Fort occupies the summit of a steep-sided hill about 2.5 kilometres west of Calendar. It was recognised at least as early as the 1830s and is first marked on a map at the turn of the 20th century. Archaeologists led a team of volunteers in excavating three trenches at Dunmore in June 2021. So this is Trench 1, uh, which was situated to try and understand the annex enclosure which runs around this side of the hill. Um, to try and understand is the construction of the bank or the wall here the same as the ramparts that run around the main part of the hill, or is there a distinction between them? Um, in this particular trench, the guys have been finding um, quite a lot of stone and earth, which implies it's actually more of a stone and earth and turf component bank, uh, rather than a nice formal faced stone wall. So you can see here we have a curve of stone revetting the edge of the material and then a flumped um, spread of soil, spread of stone, which probably relates to the degradation of a turf bank with a soil and stone component through it. So we've been able to understand here quite clearly that the, the annex enclosure is built quite differently from the main ramparts um, and that could imply that it's maybe forming a different purpose or it's perhaps just using the material that's easier to hand um, de-turfing areas around the edge um, and casting up the material to create this stone and earth bank. Trench 2 was placed to understand what was happening in the interior of the fort, targeting one of the possible house platforms identified previously, to try to understand whether there was in fact a structure there and what kind of activities were taking place inside the hill fort itself. We came down onto a small hearth setting and were able to excavate a small area of it to try to retrieve dating evidence. Elsewhere in the trench we were able to understand that the platform was created by cutting into the natural hillside, pushing the material forward to create a nice flat building surface. And we found evidence of an occupation there filled with charcoal and burnt bone, all contributing to the story of the site. Hi, so what we have here is we have one of the main ramparts for the hill fort. We have a, a two metre wide stone rampart with an outer kerb and an inner kerb. The inner kerb has collapsed onto the existing hillside and the outer kerb has collapsed outwards so it's much lower than it used to be. The internal stone um, is also collapsed but there would have been a lot more earth and stone here so the rampart would have been at least up to my height as per the either side of here. Um, we've finally we've finished excavating it and we didn't get any finds but you wouldn't expect finds uh, on the outer part of our rampart. We've got to the base here and we have fully understand how it's built so We've proved that it's a rampart rather than an entrance and, and that's what we needed to do for this evaluation trench. This bangle was found in trench 2 in the fort's interior. It's probably made of shale, canal coal or lignite. Fragments of these stone objects are found quite frequently but the discovery of an intact bangle is rare. It cannot be closely dated on its own since these ornaments were popular over many centuries, particularly in the Iron Age and early medieval period, but its discovery at Dunmore adds to our picture of life at the site. Charcoal from the hearth was radiocarbon dated to the 6th or 7th century AD. This suggests that the fort was occupied in the early historic period, when much of northern and eastern Scotland was home to the pits. However, early medieval forts are often found to occupy hilltops with evidence of earlier phases of use. It remains likely that the fort at Dunmore was constructed some centuries earlier, most likely in the Iron Age. Ochen Lake Hillfort is situated on the western bank of the Kelty Water on a low hill overlooking the Brackland Glen, around two kilometres east of Callander. Here we are at Ochen Lake Hillfort. We're at Trench 1 where we're trying to investigate whether this is the real entrance to the fort. The fort comprises of a single bank with, with in places evidence of a ditch. Um, we're trying to understand whether this was the real entrance to the hillfort. Um, through our investigation, we can see that the redeposited material that was used to create the bank is uh, sloping out the way, so this looks like the natural entrance. There's also a hint of some possible curb stones, which again would support that this is the entrance. The trench has later been disturbed by a modern gully that's been dug in either for drainage or it's part of the path that's worn through it. We weren't able to uh, identify a, a ditch in this area um, but we've been able to answer the question of whether this is the real entrance and from what we've found so far we think it is. Fortunately the materials have been very sterile so 
We don't know if we'll be able to get a date for it, but we've been able to answer the question that this is the real entrance to the hill fort. So this is uh, Trench 2 of Optum Lake Hill Fort and it was located on the interior of the site, uh, which is um, one of our trenches to try and understand what sort of activities are happening on the inside of the fort. Do we have any structures, any evidence of um, sort of buildings? Um, unfortunately in this location we've come down onto a layer that we think is probably natural, therefore in this particular bit of the fort there doesn't appear to be anything structural or any evidence of the activities that are happening, um, but it's sort of a useful exercise for us to understand if this area has been packed with structures or if there are open spaces um, with no visible structures, which this area appears to be.